Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we need to find the derivative of this function f of x. And you notice we have a quotient here, 2x minus 1 over x squared plus 2, and that raised to the third power. So I'm going to use two rules here. One is going to be the chain rule, and one is going to be power rule since we have a power. So let's see how we do that. f prime of x, the derivative of f of x, right, is the derivative with respect of x of this expression. 2x minus 1 over x squared plus 2, everything raised to the third power. So, first of all, you notice we have an expression raised to the third power. So, I'm going to use the power rule, which tells me move this power of 3, in this case, up front. And then we have the expression 2x minus 1 over x squared plus 2. And we're going to drop 1 from the 3, 3 minus 1, that is 2. So this is the power rule for this expression. And then we're going to go and say by the chain rule, we have to do the derivative of the inside function, which in this case is 2x minus 1 over x squared plus 2. So this is the first step. And now we're going to use the quotient rule. So we have 3 times the quantity 2x minus 1 over x squared plus 2 to the second power times. Now how the quotient or the quotient rule, if you remember, says the derivative of the numerator first, which is going to be 2 times the denominator x squared plus 2 minus then the derivative of the denominator, which is 2x times the numerator, 2x minus 1. And then the denominator of this fraction will be the denominator of our expression x squared plus 2 raised to the second power. So from here, only simplification, the calculus is done. So we have 3 times the quantity 2x minus 1 over x squared plus 2 to the second power times distributive property 2x squared plus 4 minus 4x squared plus 2x over x squared plus 2 squared. So like I said, distributive property here. And let's see what we get. We have 3 times quantity 2x minus 1 over x squared plus 2 squared times, so now we're going to do simplification here, and we have 2x squared minus 4x squared negative 2x squared uh, plus 2x plus 4 over x squared plus 2 to the second power. Now, this will be a good answer. The only thing you may want to do and you can do if you want uh, is to do some uh, rearrangement like uh, this. Uh, so we're going to have, uh, we can factor out a 2 here and times this 3, that will be 6. 6 times 2x minus 1. Don't forget the second power. And now here in the side of the parentheses, we're going to have what? Negative x squared plus x plus 2 over x squared plus 2 to the fourth power. Why fourth power? Because you have a power of 2 who, here, which goes with this denominator and another power of 2 here. I think this one will be a very good form of the derivative. Of course, you may want to think if the negative x squared plus x plus 2 can be factored out. That will be will help you in case you want to find the zeros of this f prime of x. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on c squared for more help. Thank you.